Hey everybody, new tutorial on the reversible one shoulder swimsuit. This is the Isla pattern from Samantha Marie Design. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video when we post. And then here's our social medias. You can go ahead and pause this and follow us if you haven't. And again, it's pretty much the exact same pattern we did um, for the last video. But this time you are going to cut on the solid lines. So you may have to print out another pattern to cut on the solid lines. The only one that's the dotted line is the arm side. Um, so the neckline and the leg bands are going to be um, dotted or solid line, not dash line. Because we're doing a reversible swimsuit here. All right, here's my swimsuit fabric. I got it custom printed at Little Ray's Fabric Shop. I will absolutely link them below. You can use code RV10 if you spend more than $200. And yep, yeah. so I'm laying out my fabric here and you're going to want to cut one of these with the pattern piece right side up. So I'm just cutting this out like this here. So I cut the top piece right side up and I'm going to cut another one, a back piece right side up, pattern piece right side up. And then now we're going to do the other fabric. I am snipping the notches here just because there are no spots for the notches. Um, and so I snipped those little parts where the thigh part ends there. And then now we're on the lining piece, we're turning the pattern piece uh, wrong or right side down um, because you want it to be the opposite since the, you want the lining to be facing out because um, you want it to be reversible. So make sure you turn those pieces right side down to cut your pattern piece out. All right, again, clipping those notches um, just to have something to line up my front piece with. Um, and now I'm going to use a little trick for the shoulder seams. This is what I like to use with swim, especially because it rolls a little bit. This is just a, an Elmer's glue stick. It is purple, but it dries clear, so don't freak out. Um, I freaked out once <laughs> when I did it because it turned my purple, my fabric purple. Um, but so I just put a little bit on the seam allowance here and I'm going to put the lining pieces right sides together. And then I'm doing the same thing on the, um, main or the other fabric because technically there's not a main fabric here. Um, you can just pick whichever one you want to be the main and which one you want to be the lining because it is fully reversible. And so you're going to match those side seams up. Not side seams, the shoulder seam. Sorry. Match the shoulder seam up. And I just find like squeezing it together works. It's not going to be perfect hold, but it definitely helps. Especially if you're going to put pins on it anyway. <laughs> or clips or something like that. I just find it helps to not shift as much. Because swim fabric is really shifty. <laughs> Alright, so now we're just going to sew the shoulder seams. So either serge or zigzag stitch those shoulder seams that we just glued together. <laughs> Alright, so this is what that looks like when you're done. And now you're just going to open them up with the shoulder seam like this. And then you're going to put the other piece, you're going to open it up and put it right side down onto the lining or main, whatever, like I said. So, let me flip that around. <laughs> Alright, so you're going to match those up and then we're going to do the neck band. We're going to serge the entire neck opening neck neck side <laughs> that's probably not a real thing um, but you're gonna serge that part that neck curve so like from one shoulder all the way up to the to the one shoulder the armpit one shoulder to the armpit and then the arm side here you're gonna serge that so this is what that looks like when you're done and then now you're gonna use that little like tunnel to flip it out Now 
I like to just make sure everything's, you know, lined up. So now we have the neck band finished pretty, or the neck line finished and the arm side finished. And now we need to do the shoulder seams. So you're going to open it up, make sure your pattern pieces are correct, and then just fold it on top of itself. So it make sure stripes are stripes and smileys are smileys or whatever type of fabric you're using. And see that where I did the notches, that's where I am lining up the bottom piece of the front piece here. And so I'm going to just sew that entire side seam where I made my notch. And that's why I make the notches because otherwise you don't really know where to fold your fabric up um, exactly. And it's just, it creates a guide for me. And then I have a little tag that I put in the side seam here. Just like this, I just put my tag in there. I like to put it on one side and the other side. Um, this is does it not make your garment compliant. I just like to have my logo on it. Um, you would need to sew your tags in a different way to make this compliant. Um, but so now we're going to go back over here. And this is when it gets kind of tricky. I'm going to go ahead and flip this out just to show you what it looks like. Alright, so... You would push one of the pieces inside the other piece. And then, of course, the only thing left to do would be to finish the um, leg openings and the crotch. So this is what it looks like when you flip it out on itself. So now we need to fix these leg openings or leg bands or whatever we call them. So I flipped it back out. And so now what you're going to do is it's going to feel really weird, but open it up, lay it on its side kind of. So like one side seam is facing out, um, is facing up, you know what I mean? And you're going to match up the side seams here, like I just did. <laughs> and fold it on itself like this. So like all the, the swimsuit should be kind of bunched up in the middle. And I've just kind of pulled the bottom left one and the bottom right one and put them together and push the fabric down. So now I'm just going to surge that thigh curve, I guess you can call it. All right, and then you're going to just find the other piece. It took me a minute to kind of like maneuver it, but you're just going to, again, kind of like the burrito method, you know, where you're just like, okay, I'm just going to put them together. So as you can see, like the other thigh one is like stuck in the middle and you're going to just match up the only two remaining raw pieces there, except for the crotch. We're, we're going to do the crotch last. It's a little different. Um, so match those two thigh curve pieces up <laughs> and then again serge that it does feel really weird to do it like this um but this is the best way i found to do it all right and then we're going to flip this thing as you can see the only thing open now is the crotch so you're going to use the crotch to flip it out make sure you push one of the pieces inside the other one like that Wiggle it, make sure you like the way it looks. Because once we finish this crotch part, it's closed. <laughs> Alright, so that's the only thing that's open. So I'm going to grab my handy dandy glue stick again. Just again, um, you'll need to fold up the allowance here, the hem allowance. So I do the bottom one. And so I'm just putting glue on the outer edge here, just so that when I fold it up, the quarter inch or whatever, that it stays and I'm going to use pins too just to keep it but you're going to stick that the top crotch into the back crotch there and then like just wiggle it out and I just stuck it in about a quarter inch I just felt with my fingers to see how um how far it was in there and I stretched it out to make sure that it matched both sides and then you're literally just going to top stitch right there make sure you catch both sides and that's what it looks like not exactly perfect. My stuff moved on me. Like I said, swim is shifty. But that's how you do the crotch. And now it's fully reversible. And now you can um, top stitch if you want to. That's the arm side. The neck opening there. And the leg openings are all done. Super simple. Um, it does require a sewing machine at least to top stitch 
the um, the crotch part there. Uh, but it's super cute. I find the sizing perfect on these. Um, you can add elastic if you wanted to um, on the legs, on the inside. It's a little bit more difficult to do that. I find this pattern to be perfect sizing wise. Um, and I sized up for my daughter and it, it wasn't necessary to do. So typical size. It's super cute, super simple. Hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and I will see you guys again very soon with another tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.